Judges chapter 5 Then sang Devorah and Barak, the son of Avin Noam, on that day, saying, For that the leaders took the lead in Yishrael, for that the people offered themselves willingly, bless ye Yah. Hear, O ye kings, give ear, O ye princes, I, even I, will sing to Yahweh. I will sing praise to Yahweh, the God of Yishra'el. Yahweh, when thou wentest forth out of She'er, when thou marchedst out of the field of Adorm, the earth trembled, the skies also dropped, yea, the clouds dropped water. The mountains quaked at the presence of Yahweh, even this Sinai at the presence of Yahweh, the God of Yishra'el. In the days of Shamgar, the son of Anath, in the days of Yael, the highways were unoccupied, and the travellers walked through byways. The rulers ceased in Yishra'el, they ceased, until that I, Deborah, arose, that I arose a mother in Yishra'el. They chose new gods, then was war in the gates. Was there a shield or spear seen among forty thousand in Yishra'el? My heart is toward the governors of Yishra'el that offered themselves willingly among the people. Bless ye Yahweh. Tell of it, ye that ride on white donkeys, ye that sit on rich carpets, and ye that walk by the way, far from the noise of archers, in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh, even the righteous acts of his rule in Yishra'el. Then the people of Yahweh went down to the gates. Awake, awake, Devorah! Awake, awake, utter a song. Arise, Barak, and lead away thy captives, thou son of Abinoam. Then came down a remnant of the nobles and the people. Yahweh came down for me against the mighty. Out of Ephraim came down they whose root is in Amalek. After thee, Binyamin, among thy peoples. Out of Mahir came down governors, and out of Zebulun. They that handle the marshal's staff. And the princes of Yishashakar were with Deborah. As was Yishashakar, so was Barak. Into the valley they rushed forth at his feet. By the watercourses of Ruven, there were great resolves of heart. Why sattest thou among the sheepfolds to hear the pipings for the flocks? At the watercourses of Ruven there were great searchings of heart. Gilad abode beyond the Ordan, and Dan, why did he remain in ships? Asher sat still at the haven of the sea, and abode by his creeks. Zebulun was a people that jeopardized its soul to the death, and Naphtali upon the high places of the field. The kings came and fought, then fought the kings of Canaan, in Ta'anach, by the waters of Megiddo. They took no gain of money. From skies fought the stars, from their courses they fought against Sisera.
The river Qishon swept them away. That ancient river, the river Qishon. O oh my soul, march on with strength. Then did the horse hoofs stamp by reason of the prancings, the prancings of their strong ones. Curse ye Moroz, said the messenger of Yahweh. Curse ye bitterly the inhabitants thereof, because they came not to the help of Yahweh, to the help of Yahweh against the mighty. Blessed above women shall Yael be, the woman of Heber the Qaini. Blessed shall she be above women in the tent. He asked water, and she gave him milk. She brought him butter in a lordly dish. She put her hand to the tent pin, and her right hand to the workman's hammer. And with the hammer she smote Sisarah. She smote through his head. Yea, she pierced and struck through his temples. At her feet he bowed. He fell, he lay. At her feet he bowed, he fell. Where he bowed, there he fell down dead. Through the window she looked forth and cried, the mother of Sisara, cried through the lattice, Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why tarry the wheels of his chariots? Her wise ladies answered her. Yea, she returned answer to herself. Have they not found, have they not divided the spoil? A damsel, two damsels, to every man, to see Sarah, a spoil of dyed garments, a spoil of dyed garments embroidered, of dyed garments embroidered on both sides, on the necks of the spoil. So let all thy enemies perish, O Yahweh, but let them that love him be as the sun when he goeth forth in his might. And the land had rest forty years.